Welcome back to KWA News at 5 tonight. We begin the first of many Motivation Mondays to help you stick with the resolutions that you've made for the new year. And right now, I'm joined with the local Fayetteville psychologist, Dr. Margaret Rutherford. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We so appreciate welcome. your help, too. Of course, of course. Yeah. All right, so here. we're going to start from the top here with this one. And so a lot of folks like to know, why is it hard to keep up with resolutions? Because so often, Nate, they begin from a place of shame. People say, I need to change this because I hate this about myself. I'm embarrassed about this. I'm, and shame is about, I feel bad about myself because of it. And actually what shame does is it tends to fuel not change, but it tends to fuel paralysis. Because you've got this little voice saying, well, this isn't going to work. Why, do you, why are you trying this? This is stupid. So. Your shame will actually implode your desire to maintain your resolution. So looking at, instead of beating yourself up, what can you do if you're falling short of your goals? Well, think about what you would tell your children, okay? They try something and it doesn't go well for them. You could probably say, well, let's go back and really try to figure out why this didn't work for you. Was the expectation too great? Was, uh, did you need support of other people? Are you thinking that this is the one thing that if you change it, you will love yourself and therefore there's too much pressure? So you go back and look for your very unique reason why it did not go well. And then you say, okay, let's reboot, let's retry. I'm coming from a place of self-acceptance. All right, we'll move on to our next one. Then lots of New Year's resolutions focus on physical health, but why is it important to focus on mental health too? Oh, uh, Nate, mental health and physical health are so banded together. Right. And what is good mental health? Good mental health is, I, I heard you list some of them in the loneliness yeah. report. Uh, good decision making, being decisive, clarity, emotional connection with other people, support. So mental health is vital. I know a lot of people who can uh, bench press a bunch of weight and they're still depressed. Okay, so you have to look at yourself quite honestly and say, what is wrong? Why am I not happy? And look inside yourself for those reasons, not necessarily because I don't like a lot of things in my life. What could you, could, what could you do attitudinally to really help you change yourself? All right, we're getting toward the end of the segment. What, can, what are some small things that people can do to, sure. to make sure they're getting to their goals? Sure. Well, you can laugh more for one thing. Yeah. You can be kind to others and be kind to yourself. The, the three that always come out, exercise, nutrition, and sleep also are very important. But realize that happiness is something that is not going to last forever. It's, it's going to go and come. It can be fleeting. It can be yeah. fleeting. But, and so you connect with grief, let that go, and then you can wait for your next happy moment. All right, thanks so much. Dr. Mar Margaret Rutherford joining us here. And if you'd like to hear more from her, just head to our website. That's nwahomepage.com for an extended interview on how to self-care in the new year.